Hey, hey bimbos. bimbos! It's Raylan Slay, your favorite trashy bimbos, favorite trashy bimbo. And I'm all Alex, your least favorite trashy bimbos, least favorite trashy bimbo. <laughs> Welcome back to Bimbo the Podcast. Mm. Mm, Raylan, how you been? I've been really good. I just hit 11 months on estrogen. Period. The titties are Train right. Rights. Trains rights. Say it with us. Trains, Trains rights. rights. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm so happy for you. It's been it's been a journey for you, you know. Oh, it has. You know, went from the beast to the beauty. No. Oh, I thought I went from the beauty to the beast. Well, maybe in your case, looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Jump scare. Me every day when I see you. <laughs> Well, today, we're going to have a little fun today on the pod. Raylan, do you want to explain what we want to do or what we're going to do? You know, I'm just an incompetent little bimbo that just is here. You want to explain instead? Okay. Today, we'll be ranking all the English-speaking franchises of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. The winners um, of winners. returning uh, looks. Yeah. yeah. So, we're going to be doing looks. the US, UK, and Canada. Maybe next time we'll do the the non English speaking ones. Even though even though we don't need to learn the language, I hadn't watched those, but I wanna uh, watch them to see the finale looks. You know, we love our we love our um, over the seas icons, but we're gonna do the the ones we like are mainstream for us. Being, yeah, and we didn't want to uh, also make starting it from too Jinx long. Monsoon to high up because Jinx was the first one to do a return look to Simone because Willow obviously has came back, and then obviously the winners from. UK four and Canada three haven't came back yet as well, but yeah, we're gonna talk about all of them and then we're gonna rank them. Do you want to go ahead and jump right into it? Jump right in, starting from season five, we have Miss Jinx Monsoon. Monsoon, it's Monsoon season, bitches. It's yeah, she's wearing this beautiful like green gown with emerald. a nice corset, an emerald green with uh like uh what is it, like ruffles. Yes, very ruffly skirt, beautiful classic, like, corset bodice. Classic red hair, beautiful crystals, beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. Very quintessential jinx. Yeah, very jinx. That, I, it's, it's really pretty. I like, I like, one of my favorite colors is green. For the first one, I think it was very iconic and pretty, and I think it really set a good tone mm-hmm. for what to expect from future people. And one thing that I like was sometimes usually gowns, they're like flowy and they like move around. This one, I think, had, like, a cage, so it was, like, kind of stiff moving, which I really liked. Yeah, I, I don't mind, like, a flowy one or a cage one, but I like mm-hmm. this. I like also the jewelry, the neck jewelry, the earrings. Everything was just really pretty. It's very jinx. Yeah, very jinx. Did you want to do the next one? Yeah, let's go ahead and go on to Bianca Del Rio's look Season six. of Glitter Glitter Essential. Yeah. It was, I think, one of the, like, like original, like original. Bianca ran so Doja Cat could run. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I like from like head to toe, glitter, 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 and glitter. I like the the fascinator on the side of the hair. I it like is the big, uh, uh, accessory in the back. It is insanely camp. Like this is a great explanation of what camp is. And it has how a to Bianca do it. Del Rio silhouette gown, gowns, gowns, beautiful gowns, beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Up next, season seven, Miss Violet Chochki. Now this. This. This was Cunty Cupcake. This set the tone, like the true tone of how good these need to be, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Like the best, the best. Money. Highs of the high. Money. Luxury. Money. The uh, the tour. The buzz. Camp. the silk, the design, the beading, everything was like perfection. Literally, the there's not tree, one the waist. bad thing I can say about this look. It did everything it needed to do and more. Because mm-hmm. she could have just done a simple out, gown. It was so cunty. It was so She could have just done a simple gown. But no, she Beautiful said, I want to give you a story, uniqueness camp. Like, I cannot... Mm-hmm say express how much I love this uh, look. I but think I remember it... watching it and when I saw the books I was like <laughs> <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh that was uh, ooh, jump scare well mama aren't you a bug yourself 
I am. I'm spider rusty. Can someone raid this you bitch want these already? Webs? Can <laughs> someone spray this bitch raid, raid already? <laughs> Please. Okay. Next, we have season, season eight. Bob, the drag queen. Okay, cunty. 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 It's cute. It's pretty. It's cute. I don't think it's... It doesn't stand out as much to me, but I think it's very good. Mm-hmm. I love that there's, like, obviously referencing culture and everything. I think she did a great job. Oh, I the think head the jewelry. Piece, the, the accessories, I think, is one of the main parts of this look. The, the accessories on the head. So good. The giant necklace. I like the puffy sleeves, the flowiness. I love the length. It's not, like, a, a huge gown, but it has some sort of a... Um, it's uh, very pretty. Uh, what is it called? Like, a train. Yeah. A little bit of a train. It's really pretty. I love the color of the blues, the yellows, the oranges, the reds. Very pretty. But the main thing I do like is the accessories, which was the, the huge necklace. And the that huge necklace piece. is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. It was so it was so cunty cupcake. And then my favorite part during her when she returned, she was like, uh, I would like to keep it on, please. Reference to Valentina's <laughs> uh, mask. Who you next season, season nine was such a velour with this, this? very um Look. Adam and Eve inspired, like, snake and the apple look. And if you will, Adam and Steve, where were you writing history? Oh, Adam and Steve, yeah. I, perfection. The headpiece. Ex- expensive and looks heavy. The it shoes. Oh, my God. Bejeweled. I mean, I, like, never looked how, like, bejeweled, like, bejeweled it is. But that is luxury the minute she won her season she, they, they started making this shit i bet that looked like it took months to make the beating yes the, i the mean love the mug is right too Tailed. this is giving lady gaga mm-hmm. like, like the extended fingers as well the very it's giving very like lady gaga you know, very executed very highly mm-hmm. it's very like I would say it's on the same lo- level as Sasha, I'm oh, not Sasha, but a Violet Tchotchke's look, yeah. but just in a bodysuit form. Mm-hmm, that's Because you can tell there's that level of couture, that level of class, that level of, like, that eye for fashion. No, that literally, really literally. stands out, that only they can give, because it's such a unique way that they see yeah. their fashion. Because who else would have thought of this? Like, no, Adam no, Eve, literally. yes. Like Adam and Eve, yes, but like on this, but not level, to have it like concept, this, like the snake have been wrapped around them, and these the extended, extended fingers, fingers, the headpiece, like yeah, it's giving very alien version mm-hmm. of Adam and Eve, and the red snake, it's just, it's so good. I don't feel like it gets enough love that it deserves. This is art. No, it was so pretty. Now, uh, would you like to introduce the next one? Okay, the next person. That we have is season 10, Aquarium. Oh, bitch. Bitch. When she came out of the main stage, coming out, everyone was gagged already. Gagged. I cannot say I could give the full judgment of this look, because I did not see her walk out. I'm only looking at this picture. So, But it's but... very, rhin- it's like 99% of this outfit is rhinestone and feathers. Okay, it was, oh my god, like, even the feathers, the mixed in the blending of the colors, very, like, phoenix, the hair. Oh. I mean, she was the fashion queen of her season. Or I like it. It's very it's, pretty. Oh, it's I so cute. still, you know, it's cute. It's cute. Now, we have Miss Season 11 with Miss Evie Oddly. Little disclaimer, she didn't really have a, like, return look because Season 12's finale was filmed during the pandemic. So she made like a very like during the pandemic, people are always obviously like saying they're always in their sweatpants. Da, 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 da. So she just made like a sweatpants and socks outfit with like grays. It's cute. It's bad. Oh. I will not sugarcoat this. I personally don't live. I love Evie Oddly. We this one, especially drag. the picture that we're looking at, leaves much to be desired. I would have preferred if she came out with RuPaul's mask. Oh. Um, not that. <laughs> I would have preferred that, honestly. If Evie Oddly was just in a mask, <laughs> please. The no, ma- the makeup looks good though in the picture. The hair, no outfit, no. Well, well Evie, I think it has is one of the one of my most favorite queens to come out of a season. I do love Evie Oddly. This look just sadly didn't work, and it's one of the worst ones for me, if <gasps> not the worst. It's not bad. It's just. 
not your cup of tea. I think we can all agree it's bad. Right. <laughs> everyone everyone has different opinions. You know, Me, but I mean, personally. I think we can all agree it's bad or it's like not exactly good, but it's, a, it's not that bad. It's during like, from the picture I'm looking at, it is. <laughs> from the picture I'm looking at, I can't even tell what the outfit is. I don't gowns, know where the gowns. outfit starts and where it begins. It beautiful gowns. Plus, of like, I do know, I do follow some of the designers that do, that did make some of these gowns. Like, um, like talking about uh, the next one, season twelve, Miss Jada Essence Hall. Jada did um, for their uh, All Stars uh, winter season. Joshua Ponte did most of their outfits, which is stunning. See, this was good. This was really beautiful. I mean. Come on now. I mean, like, she was known for fashion the, and glamour. The, hair, the edges coming down the, the face. She was going to give ag- excellence regardless. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. I mean, really, the silhouettes are gorgeous. She said, I didn't get a finale, so here's this is my moment. You're the taking gloves, it. the full gloves. Beautiful. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful and then gowns. the headpiece. I've never seen a headpiece like that, and that's very beautiful. Yeah, because when they filmed, they filmed, like, very close up to her. But it was really nice. I really liked it. It's really pretty. Now, season 13, Simon. Simon? Simone. 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 My bad. Ah! Simone. She has Simone. this crop top shirt and jeans. It's not just that. I, the, the gays were pressed. The, the gays, gays were really were pressed. pressed. But the thing is, they don't know how this stuff was made, who made it, and why it was made like this. Yeah, and also this, this is, is Simone drag to the T. Yeah, this is Simone it, black excellence, like very like. If you, if you look closer to the jeans, oh my god, bejeweled bitch, bejeweled every bitch. part of it, and also that t shirt is not wet, no, nor it's, actually a shirt. It it's was like, literally molded. They literally molded, mold. made a mold of a wet t shirt for Simone to get fitted. This look is very detailed and good, and. I think it's very beautiful. I think it really shows the luxury and who she is. Because if she came out here in a gown, does she really represent gowns right. that Simone, often? Simone didn't really wear gowns. She wore like, uh, like she wore like a lot of she wore a lot of pants on the runways. But she, I think she had a couple gowns, like dresses. She did. Stuff. I mean, her like the finale before like the crowning, like that ending. She did mm-hmm. wear that um bandana gown, mm-hmm. which was gorgeous. Oh my God, the but, nails I mean, one, the red one with the nails. Yes. That oh, yeah, yeah. Cupcake. She was just never a big gown girl. And no one should be forced to wear a gown or whatever. Like, that's her. And I think that's your chance to show your quintessential drag. Don't represent someone else's drag. Represent yours. Like, right, that's your moment right. to come back and have your little, right. hey. Yeah, okay. It's now, me, the reigning queen. Oh, now let's stretch down to Canada. Uh, we have a long ways to go, girl. <laughs> We strut down to Canada. Oh, Season we one, we have Miss. What's her name? Priyanka. Priyanka. Oh, so. Oh, oh my god. Good. Oh my god. Bitch. The silhouette on this is phenomenal. It's... Oh my like This this bitch ate the story. The, this is like the reference. Like this. Oh my god. Is. I love that, like, such a cultural thing and such, like, an important thing to her. Yeah. A part of her and who she is and what she represents. That's what I want to see is you be represented through your, like, coming back outfit in some way. Like, how does it represent you? No, literally. This was beautiful. And the mechanics with the, the, the hands coming up. Oh. Next level. I don't think we've seen that yet. I think that's the first time we saw that. Yeah, we we've never seen, like, full-on, like, uh, mechanic in outfits, except when we saw, um, what's her name? The Australian one? N- n- doesn't with, ring a bell. Oh. With Bianca Del Rio season. Courtney Act. Courtney Act. Oh. She had the wings, where she, like, pulled it and they went up. That was, like, very... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we had that, but I don't think we've had anything else, like, for Aquarius, As... it was just, like, on her arms. It wasn't really, like, structural. Yeah, I think it's really... Mechanic. And it's also kind of a different look of it. Mm-hmm. Like, we had seen, like, this is beautiful. I saw the process on TikTok after it aired of her mm-hmm. showing, like, all the work that I put into this. I mean, it is the wig. I mean, gorgeous. The makeup, amazing. Like, there's nothing bad about this look at 
all. The dress, how it, like, I like the shoulder, and then how it mm-hmm. also dress out at the hips. And the muggy stamp. I mean, and the jewel, like, this is such a beautiful look, and it had, like, we hadn't seen, like, such a good, like, this, like, phenomenal look like this in a moment, and I think we were all really happy to see. Because we never had a winner like Priyanka, that's why. Yeah, but it's also, like, next level camp, and I think we really wanted the next, like, Sasha Velour and Violet Tchotchke level. Mm-hmm. Like, not and- saying the other girls were bad, they were definitely beautiful and good, but there's, like, that, just that little bit of camp and actionness that we've been wanting and craving. No, literally. And I feel like mm-hmm. this really delivered that. Yeah. But now but let's move next on. to my one of move my on. favorite winners. No, ever. my favorite winners from no, all the, the franchises. Hour. No. She ended the season a, two. A Latina Isis Canadian. Hitler. Oh my god. Me the... when I saw this look. <laughs> but so I was good. Had oh. you creaming and screaming, bitch. There's, this there's... is... Literally, I think this is the best look we've ever seen. This is literally one of the best looks we've seen in fashion of all time. Not even just on Drag Race, a fashion of all time. Worldwide, I think this is the best we've ever seen. Whoever, like, played a part in creating these pieces, I, I really want to know who did this, because this is beautiful, and they need, like, their flowers, because they made such a beautiful Ugh. piece of art that should never be forgotten or diminished because this is beautiful. I would love to see this oh in my, a museum. I, That's how gorgeous this yeah, is. Yeah, like, I think some queens wanted to do, like, a drag museum, like, from, like, from all seasons, like, to have, like, displayed, like, outfits. Even, like, the really, like, mo- like, uh... No, I'm not saying the bad outfits, just the outfits that are more really remembered, like, a Jiggly's, uh, a baked potato look. <laughs> Isn't that what they called it? Oh, yeah. Ones that, like, are just iconic, but not, like, yeah. really pretty. Yeah. I would like, love to see this. Like, it's just in a fashion museum in general. Like, it would like, be in, like, a pop-up this, museum. I w- this is just such beautiful, like, I mean, look at the details. Oh, my God. I Isis mean, is just one of my favorite queens ever. The headpiece. First of all, let's get into that. The headpiece. That, like, holding onto her fucking head. Literally. Then the big ass wings. I know that had to be heavy and uncomfortable. No, literally. How the shape of her body. She knows shapes and structure that work good on her body. She's Isis and Couture for a reason, so bitch. For a reason. Good. That mug is stamped. She has some filler done, and I support it, bitch. <laughs> she right. looks good. Like this right. is the long like headpiece that goes like to all the way to the ground. She looks. Mm-hmm. Correct. I mean, honestly, this is the super villain I want to see in every movie. Oh, this literally. is next level. Like, she's going to take on the world. She's going to destroy the world. And she actually oh, did take on the world, actually. She oh. did. She did. She did. She, she was Canada versus the world, girl. Mm-hmm. She did take on the world. Yeah. It's true. Yep. Now and with this look, Ashley let's should. Strut. Let's strut down the pond again. And head to the UK. Okay. Do we want to just go all in one with these? Because all the pictures are so, all in one. So, a little disclaimer. For the UK, the Vivian didn't have a return look. And Lawrence Cheney didn't have one. Because it was around the pandemic time. But they did all return for the season four, UK season four finale. So, we have the Vivian, uh, Lawrence Cheney, and... Um, I forgot her Christopher name. Versace. Oh, Christopher Versace. So let's let's start first with season one winner, the Vivian. Um, 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 it's pretty. Well, it's 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 red. It's red. But yeah, the it was just a sequence gown. Period. Yeah, it was honestly at least if you oddly was like custom. Right. She like, made it, it felt more unique and very more Evie oddly. Like I can see that being Evie oddly. This doesn't represent who she is to me. Evie Oddly was always, like, an outsanker and, like, kind of out-of-the-box and quirky and weird. Yeah. So, the sock look, at least, like, showed her more of her. This just feels like a regular look to me, which is a little disappointing because, I mean, she's an icon, a legend. I, I want to see her have a little bit better, but it's red, it's cute, All right. it's pretty, but it doesn't really stand out, sadly. So, now we have season UK Season 2 winner, Lawrence Janney. 
Okay. I like this. This is cunty. This is cute. It's very Lawrence. I love the accessory in the back. Very Victorian era style. I like the metal plating. The yeah, the, the reference pieces. to like uh, the crowning and being like the queen. Yeah, the, the corsetry is there. Uh, Lawrence knows how to knows how to proportionize. You know, small ways. Uh, what is it called? A nice big broad shoulder. A cute little a cute wig. Uh, a big Mama, back piece and then are a you gown. speaking in your mic are you speaking into the mic oh <laughs> um, yeah sorry we're, i was just i was see, very excited we're very much sugar and spice at the roscoe's viewing party um i'm not, not gonna close my mind the mic, but i was just saying beautiful gown beautiful gown <laughs> beautiful gown see that's yeah. how you know passionate my sister was every hair yeah i love me i love me a big is. girl winner i love me a big girl winner this is this is like her only big girl winner isn't it mm-hmm. like english speaking that I know Wait, of. Yeah, that I know that I can think of and know of like off the top of my head. Yeah. Literally Lawrence Cheney. But we will be getting a, a big queen winner. Me. This me. Yeah, I no. will be coming into one of the future seasons and winning. You are correct. Thank you for that. Um but on to our win our next winner of the UK, Crystal Versace. Mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. is pretty. This is gold and black always looks good together. Always the headpiece, the velvet the, black, the velvet, the corsetry too. Again, and I imagine those materials aren't that great to gather, like to work with. Too, I mean, that's velvet yeah. black, and then that because it's not like, just velvet; it's like little that fluffy velvet. Yeah, and then it's also with like that, like whatever material that gold is, is I imagine it's not the easiest to work with. And it looks really good. The makeup is very pretty. I know there's drama behind that, but we're, we won't get yeah, into it was- that. It's just very pretty. It's gorgeous. The hair, gorgeous. I The detail, Beautiful the gown. structure of it, it's giving very alien goddess, blessing us with her presence. No, literally, literally. So now, what we're going to do is rank them out of 1 out of 14, our favorite and our least favorite. Just know... All drag is literally valid. All drag is All beautiful. Is. This is even just our dragged, opinion. Even though I dragged Evie Oddly, I actually do think she put a lot of time and effort in it, and I respect it as someone who hasn't been on Drag Race. She's doing a lot better than me and done a lot more. <laughs> no, literally. And she okay. won. She did. So Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No, and we're number here. one, which is our favorite. For me, Isis. Isis, yeah. So both, both of our answers are Isis. It's mm. going to be number one. It's Isis number for one. sure. Number two, for me. Oh, let me look because I'm between two. Mm. I'm gonna have to say, for me. Um, I think. Uh, you know what? I really I like for, Aquarius. Not for me. <laughs> um, I would definitely have to go with. No, nope, Priyanka. Um. Valachotsky is my number two. I mean, considering the day and time that it occurred, and that level was, like, next level. So that's your number we two? Didn't see, I, I, we never saw something, like, on Drag Race that exuding of excellence. It's very and so pretty. that's definitely always going to be number yeah. two for me. So my number three is actually Violence. Number three will be Pranka for me, for sure. I mean, come on now. That look was really good. It was really it was pretty. amazing. It's a really close. Like, Isis, Violet, and Parankas are just one of my faves. Okay, number four, I would have to say um, uh, uh, Sasha. Sasha Fedora. Um, I would say Evie Oddly. I'm joking. <laughs> um, Don't joke about no, that. Sasha Velour as well. Sasha for sure. Sasha, we agree. Number five. I would five. say... Let me look back at everyone. Oh, Bianca's. Um, I like Bianca's, but I'm... Hmm. Bianca's my number five. I'm trying to look through everyone's again. Yeah, for the camp level that it had, I would have to put her number five. Bianca as well. It's just a level of camp that... It's just... We have, like, full glitter look. I mean, it was really iconic. Right. For number six, um, I would say Aquaria. For me, it's going to have to be Jada Essenthal. Jada, period. 
I mean, it's just so beautiful. I think she really looks gorgeous in that gown. Mm-hmm. And for number seven, I think my that, that's my Jada. Simon. Simon. Simon for me. Uh, oh, Simone? Simone. Fuck, I can't remember if I think of her name. Uh, Actually, my band. number eight was Simone. The way you're just, like, doing one ahead of me. I just, there's something about it that I feel like didn't get enough love. Like, it is truly yeah, so Simone beautiful. Simone is really pretty. And it's, like, it really exudes her and Black mm-hmm. excellence. And so unapologetically like that. It's like, y'all can hate on it, white twinks. But guess what? I'm still gonna look kind to you. I'm yeah. still gonna look gorgeous and fucking eat you bitches up. Right. And she okay. did that. Yeah, she ate so the number white eight up. would be... Oh. My mine would be Simone. What's your number eight? Um, my number eight would have to be um Lawrence Cheney. Lawrence, I think it's very pretty. I think yeah. it's a level of structure and glamour, for sure. Number nine, it would be um, what's her name? I keep forgetting her. UK too. Chris, wait, one moment. Christopher Versace? Yeah. She's my number nine. Um, I think that will also be. Wait, mine. what did I put for number eight? Oh, you said Lawrence, but what did I? Say? Yeah, I put <laughs> you being unprofessional. Look at this dumb bitch. Laugh at her. Oh, I laugh at her. Simone. Point and laugh. Point and laugh. Sorry, it's because I'm writing it down too. Point and laugh at this loser. And then number nine, mine was what was it? Crystal Versace. Oh, We're Crystal. both great. Crystal Versace. Crystal for number nine. Okay. Number ten. Oh, that would be mine. Mine would be Lawrence. Um, number ten would be Bob for me. Bob. Bob my, the drag queen. My eleven would be Bob. Are you skipping ahead? Oh. No, my eleven would be Bob. Oh, What's your eleven? Um, my eleven would be Aquaria. Aquaria. Damn. It personally just didn't speak that much to me. Then again, I didn't see the flowiness of it all, and I'm sure that would may have changed my mind, but considering I'm only looking at this picture, I'm judging it off the picture itself. Mm-hmm. Number 12. I would say... Mama, I'm going to point out how you have this backwards. You're supposed to go first, I'm supposed to go second on the list, and you... You put my mm-hmm. answer first on the list. <laughs> Look, you put Bob, then Aquaria, when it's supposed to be your opinion first, and then mine. Oh, wait, that is I, correct. I said oh. Bob, and you said Aquaria. Oh. Me Beast. being incorrect? <laughs> you said Bob before, I said Lawrence, and then you said Bob. Oh, my man, my man. Well, we, we both, we're bimbos, okay? We're trying your best in this little world. Please. Okay, number 12 <laughs> would be, um... Um, who's even left? We have the Vivian, Evie, and Jinx. I would say Jinx. Jinx, yeah. And then my 13... Evie. Evie. Because at least she had, like, at least hers felt more custom and more uniquely her and who she kind of still is, this quirky queen. Yeah. Where, sadly, the Vivians just the number left four me a little would be sad. The Viv. It left me wanting a little bit more. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. It's so beautiful gown. Because it was just a, a, a red silver dress and red hair. And nothing wrong with that. It's so beautiful. But I mean, this was during, uh, a, around the time when she was filming the all winter season. And so we maybe know she, she just has had a beautiful to do something. Outfit. We know she has other beautiful outfits. We've just seen, considering... we saw her on All Stars. We, we, we saw the material. Yeah. We saw yeah. so much better outfits from her. We saw everyone's material. Everyone's so it does outfits not were mean so good. That we think any of these queens are untalented or have all bad looks. This is just judging this one look that we're looking at. An That's what we're judging opinion. today. Which for you can be non-valid. This is just our opinion. If you get yeah. mad at it, give us a I like. I mean, we're just two bimbos on the internet who have not been on Drag Race. Right. So or any Drag it, Friends. Let's tribe. just yeah. repeat the, let's repeat the list yet. again. So our number one was both. We both said Isis. Number two, mine was Priyanka. Yours was Violet. My number three was Violet. Yours was Priyanka. Number four was Sasha. We both agreed. Number five was Bianca. We both agreed. Our, our number six for me was Aquaria. You said Jada. I For number seven, I say Jada and you said Simone. For number eight, I said Simone and you said Lawrence. Number nine, we both said Christopher Versace. Number 10, I said Lawrence, and you said Bob. 
for number 11, I said Bob and you said Aquaria. Number 12, we both said Jinx. Number 13, we both said Evie. And number 14, we did say the Vivian. This is just ranked on our opinions, how we visually think, how pretty it looks. And yeah, it's just. Yeah, and and our opinions aren't facts. They're just two of Bimbos on the internet. They're just two big titted Bimbos. Who have not been on a drag drag competition yet. Yeah, no. yet. Not yet. I will be one day. Camp Wanda Kiki, I'm coming for you. (laughs) I'm dead. Not even like Drag Race. No, fuck Drag Race. I would literally, I would have a mental breakdown. I would have a mental breakdown. I feel like I would have a fun time at Camp Wanda Kiki. I feel like I would want to like literally dread every moment of life and living on RuPaul's Drag Race and Dracula because it's such, such high stakes, you know. And so, like, I don't know. The pressure is on a different level, you know. I can recover from Camp Wanda Kiki. I may never recover mentally from RuPaul's Drag Race or Dracula. Yeah. Smilin, do you want to take a quick break? Yeah, we can take a quick little break okay. here. We'll be back, Bumbos. Bye. We're back. Yes, we're back. So now. For us to stay in the same topic of La Drag Race, we're going to be talking about all the looks we've seen so far in season 15 being their entrance look to the most recent ball. So, I am going to be... Let me share my screen because I forgot. Yes, this bitch is very unprofessional. um, Unprofessionalism at its finest. We we scroll, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Okay, We look. I went too far. With our eyes. Oh, should we do promo looks? Honestly, yeah. We're going to be going in alphabetical order. For Amethyst. Mm, Amethyst. I love it. Okay. This is really cute. I love the flames. I love everything. I love everything about Amethyst. It's cute. Amethyst from the Meet the Queen was, um, I really wanted her. Like, she wasn't my winner, but I really liked her. I liked her vibe. I could tell that she wasn't going to win the season. You know, there's, like, a polish now that, like, you can tell who's going to win and probably not, because, like, there seems to be this required polish. But I think she's very sweet. I would love to see more of what she has to offer. I think she's funny. I think she's cute. And I think, just from seeing her promo look compared to what she's done in the season, I think we can tell that she's grown quite a lot. Yeah, plus off this season, she's been doing really good. So, yeah, I'm rooting for her. Right. Anitra. Ugh. It's simple. Bitch. Definitely not my favorite look. But, I mean, the mug, the hair. The mug is that the waist is thinner. I mean, let's be real. Anitra has one of the most beautiful mugs. Mm-hmm. Of the season. For yes, sure. Yes. For sure. Cute. I mean, she just... It's some, and it's very unique. And it's very hers, too. It's very Kinsey Cupcake. Oh, well, we didn't... And what do you think of the outfit for her? It was oh, cute. It's, and I think it fits the same. It's cute. Nata Ora yeah, it's a vibe. Mayari, if I said the last name right. Ora Mayari, yeah. Um, I, personally, the outfit doesn't speak to me. It doesn't personally speak to me. It's a lot going on. There's patterns, and then also, like, it's the bodysuit. That's going on. Yeah, during, on. The, um, it's during a lot. the promo video, it looked really good, though. I think, she, I mean, she still looks pretty, though. It's just a little, little much for me. But I still think she looks gorgeous, mm-hmm. and I mean, she did the damn thing. So mm-hmm. Irene Dubois, uh, I loved Irene so much. Mm-hmm. This is pretty. It's more of a simple look once again. But I mean, I love her it's long camp, fingers, and it is the moment. The shoulders, the necklace. I mean, it's very pretty. Mm-hmm. The hair. I mean, giving us very much what she is—an alien. Jax. Cute. I like how I really like the um the hair. Tire no well yes, but the tire marks on her um thigh. I did not notice that. I just realized it for the first time and that detail is so nice. This look is like just noticing that alone made this outfit even better for me. That is like such an eye for detail. Mm -hmm. And I love detail. Love this look. So good. Lucy Lucy. LaDuca. 
this girl has her body right. The waist. Wait. I mean, she the said, waist. She doesn't the pad. Boobs. She only does waist. Really? And what she also does her boobs. Oh, yeah. Boob. The boobs. Are I mean, the, the body is, oh, correct. It's pretty. It's pink. She definitely gives me, I don't know how to do cards, but I'm pretty uh, <laughs> with this look. Right. And, like, it's just really pretty. I mean, Lucy Laduka, I mean, come on now. How could you not love? Mm-hmm. Now we have my personal favorite of the season, one of my absolute favorites, Lux Nora, Nora London. Cunty. Seatbelt. Period. He's so good. I mean, and it. I feel like some of the girls didn't quite give me car or, like, the racing theme as I much. Agree. But, like, this gives me more of it with, like, it being the seatbelts all around her body. The and hair, the mug, everything. I mean, the hair being, like, a star. I just think it's very pretty. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's very much her. She has a gorgeous body. Mm-hmm. I mean, and her face. I love how she paints. I'm a big fan of Lux. Also, go follow her on Twitter. She's very funny. <laughs> Same with mm-hmm. Malaysia, Everyone. who we're talking about now, and Marsh, um, Mistress, because they're also very funny. Malaysia, Malaysia Baby Doll, baby doll Fox. Fox. This is she got cute. The she's she's correct. It's cute. It's very much her silhouette. She loves the gown. Mm-hmm. Um, it's I mean, it's really pretty. The hair is cute too. I love the hair. I like the neon. I, the neon. She looks I like good in neon. There's the not too much to say really about it, but I do like the fact that she does include the color blocking. Is there? Yeah, the color blocking, and I also like that. Once again, they're adding the print, like the racing, like um, the mm-hmm. ch- checkered, like that kind of like. Makes me think of racing. I'm glad that like some of the girls are alluding to like the racing look. Marsha's is cute. I think it Marcia, represents. Marcia, Marcia. I it's think cute. Marcia's Next. is cute. It's. I feel like it. I once again. I feel like it's very much her era and time, and I feel like she did a really good job. I feel like she's giving very much like whatever this time era is like seventies, isn't it? I don't know what time era is, but like Tess doll dummy, very gorgeous glam. I like it. Yeah. It's pretty. Ooh. Mistress. My bitch. My bitch. It's Mistress about Brooke. This sexy bitch. I mean, come on now. Mm-mm. Mm. I mean, I would love to see... Speaking... Because we talked about big girls never really winning. I would love for her to win. We need another big girl winning. Mistress would, is the perfect example of glamour. I mean, she get, she's giving us so much drama on television. She truly is such a good, like, TV yeah. presence. The detail, the colors, and her the heel, painting, the mug, the, the hair, mug. everything. You know, she is a makeup artist, and she say that mug, you know that mug is good. The mug is stamped, And bitch. it would look good in person, too. Mm-hmm. Now we Princess have Miss Princess Poppy. Poppy. Okay, this is really cute. I really like yeah. this. I like it too. During I the like promo this. look. I thought I thought she was gonna go really really far. So did I. I knew Princess Poppy from TikTok, so I was really rooting mm-hmm, for her, and for her to go out as early as she did. A little disappointing. Mm-hmm. Very we much disappointing, her. actually. All my fave girls. Some of my fave girls went out like immediately. Irene right. Princess. It was sad, but this look is very good. I like the structuring. Like mm-hmm. it's very unique. I can't say I've seen this exact styling, and I love like the shoulder things being like I don't oh, know. Yeah, it's, it's weird. So I love it. Now we have Miss Robin Fierce. It's cute. Uh, it's uh, cute. For me, just cute. Um, the picture I'm looking at, maybe I can't see all the details you can, but it just, I like the helmet. Yeah, zoom in for me. Okay, now I see more of the details. Oh? Oh, this is better. Okay, see, now I'm actually getting to see the details on this. Okay, I like the, whatever fabric the bottom is. I like the corset. I like the structures. I love the gloves. I love a glove. If you're not going to wear nails, I love a glove. Um, not you fucking it up. Selena S. Titties. Uh, you moving on. Now, did I say I was done, you beast? Oh. oh fine. I have more to say. I like the helmet. Oh, wait. wait are those earrings that I see? They are. That are part of the helmet? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. But it is pretty. But it's. Not my favorite of the looks. It's a little. I little... love. It's very. It's very. Housewife. But Robin is more of like, no, the housewives. Yeah, very housewives. Very, very like housewives more like. Tease. I'm just gonna give you glamour. Very glamour. She's very, very... much a glamour queen. Mm-hmm. Which very. I love. She gives me um. Very like Angeria vibes. Like you know, very, very glamour, high class, soft and supple. High cl- yeah, high class. That's the word I was looking for. Very. Up now next. to 
Selena S. Titties. S. Titties. S. Titties. This is cute. I feel like the cutie cupcake. I like the hair. I like I her energy. Say, I do not like the shoes. The shoes. It's the, because, the shoelace. Well, the shoelace being that color, like you have the seam of like the shoelace, like of a deconstructed shoe around all your body. But you're telling me you couldn't get the shoe to match, or like even paint it, or like recolor, or like even put a pink lace through it, right? Or paint it like to make it look more cohesive with the de- deconstructed shoe you already have going on all over your body. Yeah. It, it takes me out of the, like, look some. That's... Mm-hmm. The rest of the look is good. That's literally my only complaint. Is that... Mm-hmm. That's just, like, kind of jarringly, like... That should have been adjusted more. But maybe there's a shoe problem. Who knows? Because we never know what really goes behind cameras of, like, what problems they have and... That is true. All that stuff. So maybe there was, like, a, her luggage got lost in her shoes. Who knows? Oh. Okay, but up next. Her, the rest of the look is beautiful. Oh, okay. oh Sasha, Sasha motherfucking, motherfucking Colby. Colby. Mm. How could you not stand this? Her body is fucking correct. That ass is fat and those titties are big. Ugh. There's, there's nothing we can say. I mean, she, I mean, she met the theme of this look of like the the checkered like flag, like the pink, the hot pink, the straps. I mean, it's Carrie Colby and her iconic little ponytail. The hair, the human hair. Ugh, you know she's known for it. Bitch, the heels. I mean, everything. Everything is just perfection. uh, It's Carrie Colby. We didn't expect anything less from her. Mm -hmm. It's Carrie. Not Carrie. Oh, Uh, Sasha. Now we thank her daughter. (laughs) I mean, both both iconic. I mean, honestly, though, we didn't expect less from Sasha or Colby. They always deliver. Sasha or Colby. Sasha or Carrie. Oh, Carrie, girl, words are hard. I'm a little bimbo. Uh, up next, Spice. Oh, uh, my. I mother! It's so good. Mm. This is so good. The structure, mm-hmm. the fit, oh, the spikes, the hair details. This is such an ex- expensive and beautiful look. They know their style. They, they know style. They know, style. they know their look. They know how the, what looks good on their body. They the know their aesthetic. Saying bad girl. Yes, I mean it's just no complaints. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this with all my heart. Up next, sugar. So good. Once again, these girls know their looks, know what works for them. They have a theme. They stick with it, and that was my thing. This winter season is like they were getting critiqued for that, but I'm like, they know who they are, and mm-hmm. they know their theme and branding, and that's what you want of a queen, isn't it? That yeah. comes onto the, your show, and yet you're saying that they have too much of one. I and disagree. I the good girl bag, and they like, and that's what they are: sugar and spice. Sugar is the good girl, and spice is the rebel, the bad girl. I I love them so much. Both of them devoured. But next, I think next is the reveal looks. Oh, oh, hmm. the reveals. So when they during the video when they came out. Amethyst, cute. It's, it's it's not great it's for me. It's giving you can find it on Shein and they just added fur. But I love Amethyst, so it's cute. Okay, for these, we're just gonna be like cute, 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 cute. cute. Yeah, um, cute. I like this. Anitra, stunning. Okay, okay. Aura, cute. Love the color. Yeah, cute. I like hair. it. Color is not what I expect from this. Gorgeous, Irene, stunning, always gorgeous. Jax, oh, the layering is very Y two K. The, Not for me, but get your life, girl. Oh. Lucy the Duca. Um, next. It's fine. Love. Lux, love. Lux, I love this look. Lux did really good for the reveal look. I love this. The cute little bear. Malaysia devoured. Pretty. Devoured. Gorgeous. It's Marcia, cute. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Cute. It's Marsha. Mistress. Oh. When I Gorgeous. tell you. When Mother came out, she did not lie. She did not lie. Did I lie? Did I f***ing lie? This look is very... I mean, the color is theme. Uh, poppies. Cute. Princess I like poppy. it. The hair, cute. The, the tie-dye, the sequins. Very pretty. Plenty. Robin, gorgeous. Robin it's cute. simple. It's not anything crazy, The color but... blocking is, like, I think what's, what's in right now. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but she looks gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Selena as titties with a cute skirt. Big, very it's, girly girl. Very, like... It's okay. Ah! Uh, uh, 
Mother Sasha. Mother Sasha. Is Mother Sasha, Sasha, girl, is devoured. Sasha devoured. devoured. Come on, latex. Spice. Devoured. Cute. Love. Cute. She said UK, hun. UK, She's British. Hun. She, she's gonna be in the UK season. Sugar. Gorgeous. Sugar. Very, like, cute cake girl. Very princess. Doll. Gone slutty. Uh, I love it. Um. Oh, entrance look. Amethyst. Entrance looks. Amethyst. It's very basic. Jan. It's basic, but you know, it's giving basic Graver Girl. You, she definitely bought this off of a priest like own store, but it's cute. So this was this was that was her runway. Yeah, that was her runway. We can go ahead and talk about this it. This was the bow. It was again. We knew kind of what Amos is going to give. Yeah, right. This is episode like, one. We don't. We, we don't. We don't. Know. We we kind of knew at that point how it was going to go off of this. She's cute. She's pretty. She just doesn't have that polish yet mm-hmm. at this at this point when it was being filmed. Because, I mean, you gotta learn how somehow... Anitra's entrance look. Gorgeous. Ugh. She said, what? She said, wigs. I don't need it. Mm-hmm. Stunning. Beautiful. Oh, The her. fucking duck walk. I mean, we have to talk about this real quick. Her walk. motherfucking walk that fucking duck, bitch. Walk it. Mm-hmm. I, like, <laughs> I'm choking on water. <laughs> you choking on water. I, I was gagging. I I'm sorry. I was gagging. You gag a lot from what I heard from the streets. Uh, Anitra's runway look. Cute. Okay, bit. It was ready. cute. It was pretty. Aura Mayari. Um, it was... A lot of people had the same opinion for Aura's thing. Was It was very bulky, but I kind of liked it. I, I, I've heard a lot of people like, say I just, think like, since it's black, it bland, like, are... it blends in okay. and bland. Because I because think it's pretty, it though. black, you don't really see the detail. I think... But with the photo we do have, you see the detail... Yeah, you see the structure and detail of this. Like, I think it's very pretty. I think, like, she gives me very, like, a fighter in a video game that I would definitely play. She's gorgeous. She's pretty. Oh, we're not going to talk about that. Oh, yeah, we're not talking about... <laughs> her runway look her... cute. From... Wait, that was Black that runway? Again. Her runway, that was her runway. I... Wow, it was quite forgettable, I guess, because I have no recollection of that look. Oh, <laughs> Irene's entrance look. Irene's Devoured. entrance look. So pretty, yeah. So pretty it was little cute. Poof-poof. Very much her. Oh, her runway. Her, her runway, runway was pretty. It was cute. It was very Bosco. They're, they are yeah. sisters. I wanted to see more from her. I really did. Jack's entrance. Very, like, cheerleader. I love the rhinestones. Very cute. Fenty. Yeah. Jax was letting us know they have been in cheer. The runway. It was cute. I like the runway with the jacket up. With it down, it leaves just, like, a zebra bodysuit. I think with yeah. the jacket up, it really betrays, like, more of a elevated look to it mm-hmm. lucy la duca entrance look it was cute i like their when they took the photo like the actual photo they had on instagram because the yeah. waist was there bitch it was really their, good the runway then, it was very um they even they, they mentioned it was what is it like the airline the the stewardess it was a britney reference to britney's um yeah Music video look of Toxic oh. with the airplane look, yeah. London's entrance look. pretty. And then Gagged Lux, you a bit, for sure. For sure. I quote that all the time. I love Lux. I love Lux so much. It's pretty. If you need the We're definition not gonna get... of nude illusion, look at, look at, look at um, her. Look at her. Look. You can't even tell also, that there's, also, like, lace. We're not getting into the whole entire entrance of her hair. Oh, <laughs> that no, was so not. dumb. The whole entire, like, drama of that when. <laughs> Never escape. Her runway. It's cute. It's pretty. It's fine. Um, I love Lux, though. Well, Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Stunning. Beautiful gowns. I the mean, hair, it's Fox. I mean... The Fox ears are literal hair, too. Yeah, I mean, it... I like when girls come feathers. in with, like, their looks that represent them. That, that's and, like, your, a very, your introduction to the literal world. Yeah, like, I want... Like, that's what I'm like, saying. It's like, I want to really see who you are... Yeah. And, like, the fox reference, like, to the her being fox in her hair. Her hand. runway look cute. was very similar to her entrance look with the the fox tail uh, thing, accessories she had. But it's very pretty. The white, the yeah. beads, the shininess. Very pretty. It's pretty. Marsha's entrance. I liked her line, what she said. She said, ouch. But, you know, we, we all know what the judges are telling Marsha. I have no words. And we saw her runway. Yeah, Mistress it, Isabel Brooks uh, entrance look. I love that Marsha just got thrown under a bus and was forgotten no, so quick. I mean, 
the, I mean, talk about the say. colors of she her outfit? looked cute. They're just... I think if you've seen her drag, even kind of now, you kind of seen it all. She's right. just a little bit more, like... You, she has a very set aesthetic, and I think you're not going to see too much a differentiation of it that's going to gag you and wow you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now we have Miss Mistress, Mistress Isabel Brooks. Such a good entrance look. Bitch. Stunning. With that fucking little... Uh, that fucking like little heel. heel. That little fucking heel. <laughs> right. Kite. Honestly, camp. Oh, her runway? The her cowboy? runway... The cowgirl look. Ugh. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And she said she pulled that out of her closet. She already mm-hmm. owned the bitch. Poppy's and I do believe entrance. that. So this Poppy's. was their, I believe, their backup? They had a lot of, I think, problems yeah, with, like, they're getting close. Their designers? Yeah. Their designers, I think, they like, talked about, have yeah. fell through a couple times. And so mm-hmm. she was left with backups for looks. This is her runway look. Very I think gay. runway. I, originally, I didn't care for it, but now looking at it, I like it. Cute. I it's feel very like gay. it's very like cute candy girl. Like I could find that like you know that candy game. Yeah, that I feel like she would be one of the characters there. Very cute. Yeah. Robin, Robin Fears. This Ugh. tan pleather. Or just the cheetah the shoes. Look at the cheetah shoes. She loves a monochrome look, and she, she eats she it does. up, and she really executes a monochrome look. Really good. Right. Her runway devoured. Gorgeous. Ice princess. The hair. Very perfect. gorgeous. Beautiful. Elsa Beautiful. can never. Okay. Now, Selena is this entrance look. Her runway look. <laughs> I liked her runway look. It was really pretty. It was okay. I No, I hated the bucket hat. I, the, I the hated ha- the that The hair page. was pretty. I liked the hair. I like. I always like, um, what is that called? I just like the, the um the ombre. Yeah, like I love ombre hair, like natural ombre, pretty. Yeah, I mother, didn't care mother. for the bucket, but like the rest was really good. The bucket hat was just really bad, yeah. but the rest of her mother, outfit, cute. Mother uh, Colby, Sasha, fucking Colby. Colby. I mean, we're gonna say it every time. Mother fucking devoured Sasha Colby. Entrance. She don't have to say it. anything. Devoured up every time. Just assume her, it's a devour every time. Her runway look was her Miss Continental dress. What's such if, you didn't, if you did not know about Miss Continental, educate yourself. Yes, and the fact she can, girl, I wish my body was, was that skinny and was able to stay that skinny for that long. Right. Imagine fitting right. in an outfit that you haven't worn in forever. Right. Could yeah. never be me. Spice. Spice. Very spice. You know, I, I don't judge too hard on, like, the entrance looks, because I don't expect, like, to give your most amazing yeah. looks. It was cute. You're coming in there to kind of give your vibe and kind of your aesthetic, and she gave the aesthetic of a brat stall and reverencing brat stalls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Spice's um, runway look. I love this aerial Devoured. look. It is so beautiful so and pretty. pretty. It's one of my favorite looks. It's so elegant and gorgeous. The material is so nice. I love it. We have sugar. Sugar. Look. Her I mean, other part, sugar. Well, so cute. It's, it's so pretty. Cute. Basic, her runway look devoured Belle. Devoured Oh, Rose. yeah. Her runway look. They both the ate the heels? runway. Oh, my God. Look how huge they are. Oh, yeah, they wore always, like, the they highest They love their heels. platform heels. They're just like me. They love a high pleaser heel. They're whores. Wait, was this... Oh, is this episode two? Oh, this is episode two. Okay, Mom, yeah, so... Yeah, this episode two. <laughs> okay, so, so we barely went past episode one, and we are almost out of time. Almost, Raylan. Yes. So, maybe maybe we'll, can, we'll do the... Maybe the next episode we can talk about... The rest of the... We can do all the runway looks for episode two. For episode three. Wait. Yes. This I'll, is episode we'll, two, we'll Mama. Episode two. We'll review all of the... Um, yeah. <laughs> review all of the looks for um, uh, for the rest of the episodes for the episode three of the podcast. Yes. But we talked but we talked a lot about draggers today, which we love. We and we'll get more in we... detail maybe next time about, like, yeah. all the stuff going on. Because we were kind of... We, we definitely kind of only have so much time, so we maybe maybe didn't we get to talk about the a, performance. We do have a little time. We can do episode two runway. Okay, this was yeah. uh, what like uh, like shiny? we will get to the what challenge of this episode. The category this... was like oh m- like me- metal, metal. Yes, I think it Metallica? was like metals or Metallica. Yeah, yeah it was something uh, on the lines of that. Amethyst. I love it. I love the flow. It's cute. Didn't I Irene expose her for that? Like you could just get it off of somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, but what is that a bad thing? Uh, no, it's, it's not a bad thing. I, just, I read it, the shady bitch, and I love it. 
I know she's so shady for that. I was like, damn. <laughs> Honestly, get your office however you can. Right. This is an expensive ass show. No, if really. you want to get yourself off a of Shein or a cheap or somewhere, you better work, bitch. <laughs> You better make. You better save we your coin. Anitra, devoured, consumed. Very pretty. Correct. Structured. I mean, Anitra's going to give you a very couture constructed look. We have Aura Mayori. Mayori. We've seen a lot of this more recently in yeah, the drag like, world. Yeah, like it's been ah. very like popular. Uh, the only but thing I am lacking a little bit is that I wish there was something going on, on the, the bottom, bottom half because yeah. the top is so heavy, and the bottom is nothing. Jax. I wish Jax. she was more metallic. More shiny. I wish she was more metallic, but she made a reference to a character that she's got her name from, she said, and I like it. I think it's cute. It's cute. Lucy she's a little video Duca. game nerd, and she said that, and she delivered Bitch, on that. This 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 looks like it was hard to me. Lucy LaDuca. Ugh, girl. That was sculpted to her body. I know it's... she, like... Oh my god! Like how she even, got it on and off. Like I forgot about these looks. The, this is so pretty. This so is, this, pretty. This this color scheme is um very much. It look it's like if hers and Aura's outfits were together. That was Jan's um uh, All Stars promo. Yes, exactly. This very is giving very much a sex spot, and I love it. Lux, Lux, gorgeous. Oh, it's, it's pretty. Gold, very pretty. The hair. Eating. Very luxurious. Miss Malaysia. I love the chains. I like the chains. It looked a little bulky and kind of all over the place for me. But it was really pretty, too. Uh, the hair, too. The little the, the, the comb. Yeah, it's cute. I, I, not my favorite, but she definitely looked pretty. Marcia, I like this. Oh, I mean, Marcia look. I liked Marcia's. I thought it was cute. I think it's one of her better looks. Little Tin Man moment. That's yeah, I mean, like, she's like worn. a little... She's a play girl. Like, she loves her, um... Rom- um, her, her Broadway moments, and you know, I feel like it's fair on the nose for her to do a Tim Man. Malaysia, no, not Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia, 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 baby doll fox, Maestras. They're all M's. There's so many. Yeah, M's. there's a lot of M's. It really is true. M- mistress, I love and the gorgeous. Ruffles. She is um, a big girl that knows how to fucking. Dress she knows to how to proportionate. Body. She needs a bigger uh to make like a smaller waist. She does a big shoulders, big hair. Smaller waist. Devoured. I would love to get some tips from her. Like, I know people didn't like the simplicity of it. That was simple. But if she added more, she would get she would get dragged for it. Yeah, I don't... I feel like in this situation, unlike um, with Auras, I feel like she had so much going on with the top that it was good enough. Yeah. To not need too much. And also, she didn't have, like, as long a legs. Mm-hmm. Pop, poor Poppy. Princess this Poppy. was... If poor I remember, Poppy. this is also another outfit that she... With a backup, I mean, she bedazzled her. She was she bedazzled. Okay, yeah, she, she bedazzled. bedazzled. I want to see your fave do that to save their life. <laughs> the hair, beautiful, stunning. Nobody it's wore really blue, right? Hair. Nobody wore blue. I don't think anybody wore blue. Yeah, I mean, she definitely gives me R two D two sex spot. Um, it's definitely if she had not more great. Accessories, she would have devoured. Yeah, I think with more accessories, more like something on her legs, something on her arms. She looks gorgeous. She looks really pretty. The outfit just is lackluster, sadly. Robin Fear. Robin, gorgeous. The Spear devoured. It's really I mean, pretty. I think Robin, I just wish she, she has some metallic, but I wanted more. I wish there was a little bit more, too. The hair is really pretty. Look at the hair. Also, I like those, like, little hoops in it. If I'm seeing Yeah, the that's correctly. why I see hoops, too. Yeah. The detail. I mean, she is such She won in all the gold. Detailed, fierce queen. Oh. Selena. This the wig. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Selena was a look. It, it, I, I don't think anybody really cared for this look. I think it's been discussed. This isn't it's been, a great look yeah, from her. It, they've talked about it. Move on. I think everybody's talked about it. It, it just wasn't that strong. Sasha motherfucking Colby. Once again. Once again, it's Sasha girl. The body is what right. The metallic is right. The shoes, the mug, the, the head. She's piece. giving you spiky porky pun. What can we say? Right. She's spice. Giving, oh, oh, spice. This is really cute. I like it. A lot of people I, really like this one. They're, this runway for them, they really liked it. I like this too. I mean, it gave me fun outer space. This look looked like they that they brought it for two different runways. That they could have brought it for the monochromatic or for this or for the the mirror. Or mirror Fair. The, like right? this looks. I I really love this look. It looks. Well, I mean, so sugar pretty. and spice do do a lot of monochromatic. Yeah, they love a monochromatic look. I mean, that's kind of their hunter branding and theme. You like sugar? Cute. I like I spices love that. more. 
Maybe. I kind of like sugars. I like spices, but I like the skirt to like then like kind of leg pants oh. things. Oh yeah, look at the it's the, such a, the I've the never feet. seen. I can't really say I've seen that much ever before, and I like it. It's very unique and different. Mm-hmm. Okay. That fucking picture you just pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, so. That's we're gonna get it the next episode. But that, um, next the, episode... and her hair. They yeah. always had some of the most beautiful hair. Like, they give galactical, like, touring the world, touring the universe space singers. Like, they're just... I mean, honestly, all these queens are so talented, gorgeous, and beautiful. And if we ever do critique them, it's not coming out of a place of being rude or think that we're better than them. Or think that we're in a place to really judge. These are just opinions. Um, I personally don't do drag. Uh, Raylan does. I just really like the fashion aspect. I don't... I don't judge on a person's drag. I don't judge on anything. It's just an opinion. No, no hate. No, no, nothing to any of the queens. We literally love every single one from whoever went first. We love, like, I, I love Poppy's drag. Like, just because they went home Poppy second does not mean so that the drag is bad. That's, that's what people think. But no, like the first, first three, first four. Oh my god, the drags were just so good. Maybe just yeah, just Irene maybe. going but, home first, and then Poppy going home. I think second. Very sad. This is and just a very strong. Girls. It's a very strong cast. Yeah, it's, you know, and we're gonna see them hopefully again. Hopefully, we're gonna see them and finale, finale and all stars maybe in the future for some yeah. of them. And then don't forget support your local drag, drag races yes. and your only drag. Support your local drag. Support uh, drag queens on Twitch, aka me. <laughs> yeah, support Annabelle Lecter, Gothica Love, Annabelle Lecter, Gothica Love. Support Aunt trans Lou. <laughs> Aunt Lou, yes, my daughter, Aunt Lou, support Aunt her, Lou. give her her coin, because oh, she's a broke-ass bitch. <laughs> let's do a little thing, a new thing that we're going to do, is the streamer of the month. Did you forget about that, Raylan? Well, is it my streamer of the month, or is it yours? <laughs> it's. I think we'll both agree for the streamer of the month. If it's Aunt Lou, I don't. <laughs> uh, I can't, so... I can't. I love so, my daughter, Aunt so, Lou. So, the streamer of the month is... Raylan's daughter, Aunt, Aunt Lou. Lou. They're still working shopping their drag name, mm-hmm. but that but is their Aunt Twitch Lou name. Is a, is a baby queen on Twitch. They're an icon. They are the moment. They play the forest. They play Fortnite. They play. DVD. Yes, we play together quite often. So you, if they you stop by to one of our streams, so Aunt Lou, we love you, you so much. You are the streamer of the motherfucking month of. March. We love you so much, and we love babes, you, so much. you are doing such an amazing job. We Your jacket is beautiful. The mug, and I cannot the wait mug to see. has been getting progressively so much better. So good. Sorry and to I drag wait you. To see you grow. But you we know really we, we know we love you, Lou. Already you. so much, and we cannot see just so, cannot wait to see how much more we you love. Grow. We love Aunt Lou. We they love are you. the moment. We love you. And yeah, that is a shimmer of the month. But now that is, it is sadly the end. Of episode two of Bembo the podcast. Raylan, is. how are you, you feeling in this moment? Um, I feel very celebratory. I feel very excited. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling sad because I got nothing to do with my life after this. So, <laughs> we have Drag Race later. Today is Friday. So, drag oh, true. Oh, we will. Yeah, we will be reviewing. We'll be seeing tonight's episode. And maybe if we do opinions. catch up, we can do like, like a like t- talk about Next the beginning episode. of the podcast. Like, the beginning of the podcast, we like, the first 30 minutes, we can talk about uh, the most recent episode, just so we can, like, talk and vibe, you know, have a topic. Yeah, we might, depending on what Honestly, we talk really, about. Honestly, I'll talk to you about that after. Yeah. Right, all right. But, so, um... Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you can you find so me much, anywhere. Alt Alex, A-L-T-A-1-E-X, everywhere. Um, and you can follow me, Raylan Slay, almost anywhere. Just remember, W-R-A-Y-L-Y-N-S-L-A- why, why, why? And this is Bembo the podcast. We'll Thank see you, you in two weeks. Remember, we post every other week. Bye. Be soon.